and welcome to the Nexus for Flashbacks. Today we're looking at the Romulan drone from Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, this is it. Um, I love the shape of it. It's got a lot of bits going on. We'll have a little look at that in a moment. Let's take a look through the magazine. So it's a hollow drone. So it has holographic meters uh, around the outside of it. Uh, Warp 5, it has um, a holographic skin, it's a prototype. Uh, so these are like the hollow emitters that all are around it. It has lots of antennas as well. Um, and we have a, a bit of in universe information because it, it appears in a few episodes. Um, and then we find out that they're using um, um, a sort of a subspecies of uh, Andorian. I'm, I'm, I can't remember what they're called, they're sort of white instead of blue. Uh, then we have a nice side picture, um, the front and the back. Um, designing the Romulan drone ship. So originally it appeared on Voyager. I never knew that, but this is how it appeared on Voyager. Um, before I'd even seen, this just shows you it's like sort of a background ship that they done. It's got like a flea-like design to it. Uh, but yeah, it first appeared on Voyager, uh, and this is how they um, they went about designing it, and then they just reused it for the uh, uh, the Romulan drone. So this is like the file it had on it, and they just obviously redesigned it. Uh, and then starting the Romulan War. So the Romulan War was supposed to be part of season five, I do believe, of Enterprise, but we never got that far. Um, and this was supposedly the start of it. Where actually they were wanting to go to war with these species or get them to go to war with each other. Uh, in the end, actually, it pushed them all together to fight the common goal. Uh, anyway, that was that. So there, there it is um, for the magazine. Obviously, our next flashback, we're going to be looking in at the Enterprise B. Nice top view. So let's take a look at the ship. Okay, so this is the ship. As you can see, it's got this very flea-like design. It's got a really nice um, sort of weird um, sort of um, stand, which is just a hull, but it's it actually works really well. Um, it's a little bit stiff to, to get out because uh, there's a hook just here. As you can see there, a plastic hook just now. Uh, but once you get it in and out, it's fine. So let's take a closer look. So we have the hollow emitters, which are these uh, just here and all these little ones. They're really nicely uh, detailed as well, all over the ship, all over it. As you can see, even on the, this section as well, on the front. Obviously, it's got a lot of internal components and a lot of antennas. Some of them are, are bent, as you can see. I don't want to play too much, but um, you can see how sort of fragile they are they are all um a bit wonky but i i don't think that matters you also got them underneath as well there are none missing i am quite fortunate but i could see a lot of these going or well, snapping off uh very easily uh it's got the the standard romulan sort of artec paneling but it's almost sort of circuit board like As you can see there. But yeah, you've got the hollow emitters. All spread out all over the ship. Uh, it's got like a flea-like design. Yeah, very similar. Uh, we have um, a little red there. I don't know whether that would be the impulse. Or um, the warp engines. We have uh, some hollow emitters there. So they're plastered all over it. But yeah, we have uh, the antennas there. I mean, it's, it's a really nice ship. I like it. Um, yeah, it's definitely a different design, um, and I love the way the base has on the base there. And uh, yeah, that's that's it really. Um, that is our look at the Romulan drone. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.